Welcome to Preservation Today. I'm Jeff Guin. The March edition of Past Horizons magazine is now out. The magazine features articles on field school opportunities and how to make archaeology accessible to the disabled. According to its publishers, the goal of Past Horizons is to give everyone a voice in our heritage. Here at Past Horizons, we are seeking to provide a dynamic portal that highlights the possibilities for people, from professionals to amateurs to allow them to get involved in some of the exciting projects that are taking place around the world. We want to inform, to inspire and then involve people who are perhaps not aware that there's a world of archaeology open to them out there. That's really what Past Horizons is about. Now, in addition to the interactive online magazine, Past Horizons Heritage Media offers a blog on archaeological discovery and a YouTube-style video sharing service. Past Horizons is based in Scotland. US-based National Trust for Historic Preservation is developing a new online community. According to the Trust, this new community is designed to ignite interest in places rich with heritage, history, and culture. The site will allow participants to interact around the heritage of a town or a city, allowing vacationers to, quote, travel with purpose. The Trust is now holding a pre-launch recognition program that offers special benefits to those who sign up for the site now. Participants will have the opportunity to share travel experiences, the reviews and ratings, and photographs. The community will be a part of the National Trust subsidiary, Heritage Travel Incorporated. The Trust is also using Facebook to raise money for its rebuilding efforts along the Gulf Coast. Facebook's new Marketplace feature is launching an initiative called Celebrity Selling for a Cause. And actress Jennifer Coolidge is selling a custom-made dress that she wore when starring in the film Legally Blonde 2. She's donating the proceeds to benefit the National Trust Rebuilding New Orleans project. Now, you don't have to be a celebrity to participate. Anyone can buy items or sell items on behalf of the National Trust, and all the proceeds will go toward their efforts along the Gulf Coast. The Smithsonian Institution recently held a two-day gathering exploring how to make the organization's collections, educational resources, and staff more accessible, engaging, and useful in the digital age. The event was called Smithsonian 2.0, and it brought together professionals from the web and new media worlds to meet with Smithsonian staff members. Together, they worked to envision what a digital Smithsonian might look like in years ahead. Speakers included representatives from Facebook, MySpace, and Microsoft. Now, the event was the brainchild of G. Wayne Clow, who became the Smithsonian's new secretary in July. This is about a transformation going from a condition where 137 million objects are hardly ever seen by the public to one where they're seen by anybody who has access to the web. We value your input. We'd love to have it. Join with us in this remarkable journey. According to Clow, the Smithsonian intends to aggressively pursue a participatory web-based presence following the conference. The UNESCO office in Lima, Peru is seeking international specialists to aid in the development of heritage site plans. Among the sites in question are the Pacacamac Archaeological Complex and the lines and geoglyphs of Nazca and the Pampas de Jumana. The heritage plans would include establishing priorities for halting site deterioration, reviving buildings and land use techniques, and raising community awareness about the historical and cultural meaning and importance of both sites. The project is being conducted in agreement with the National Institute of Culture in Peru. The Obama administration recently unveiled a new WhiteHouse.gov website. According to Macon Phillips, the director of new media for the White House, the new site is being built on the social media principles of communication, transparency, and participation. Among the site features so far are a blog, a comment form, and a briefing room. Obama, who has currently four and a half million Facebook friends, used social media extensively during his campaign for the presidency. And finally, Preservation Today now has its own friend feed room. The room will allow fast-paced discussions on the latest in heritage preservation. Sign up is quick, easy, and free. All you have to do is visit our show notes site at preservationtoday.com and click the news stream link at the top of the page. That's all for this edition of Preservation Today. Until next time, we'll see you online.